This time next year, students in the Bay State will be enduring a new era of standardized testing. Massachusetts schools have been preparing for the first overhaul of standardized tests since the MCATs were introduced almost two decades ago. Jeanette Oriel has more on what, the news or what this new test will mean for students. That's right, Casey. This new assessment raises concerns for parents who believe their children are being over-tested, but the state's Board of Elementary and Secondary Education believe now is the time for the next generation of standardized testing. Students across Massachusetts will soon be seeing changes in their current standardized testing. The Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System, or MCAS, has been the state's standards-based assessment for almost two decades. Now, school districts across 11 states will be adopting a new exam known as the PARC test, or Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. As some districts begin to pilot the test two years ago for grades 3 through 11, others like the Dedham Public Schools decided to wait until more information was released about the new exam. Once we heard in November that the state was clearly making a jump toward a much more PARC-like exam, we thought it was uh, incumbent on us to make sure that our students were prepared and we didn't want to stay with MCAS one more year just to cross our fingers and hope it would get derailed. Uh, at this point, the vote has been taken, the ship has sailed, we need to be on it. Santa Public Schools will be one of the school districts in the state to begin transitioning from the MCAS exam to the PARC test. They're doing this in hopes of better preparing their students for the MCAS 2.0, which will be the state's new standardized testing beginning in the spring of 2017. The MCAS 2.0 will be a hybrid of the state's current MCAS exam and the PARC test, designed to be taken online. All schools statewide are expected to be fully administering computer-based testing by 2019. This is just a transition. It is more challenging. Uh, most people are saying that the PARC exam and the assessments are more challenging year over year, and uh, they're hot holding kids to a higher standard. And overall, that's good. However, concerns have been raised for students with Individualized Education Programs, or IEP. The, uh, the accommodations for special education students for the MCAS exam were rather extensive. Uh, so there is a lot of debate right now about whether or not it's, it's considered a fair assessment for students with Individualized Education Plans. Although the new test format will need to be developed further to meet all students' needs, the MCAS 2.0 is expected to equip students with a broader set of skills that will prepare them for life beyond high school. Massachusetts currently ranks first in the nation for standardized test scores. And although some say the new, the new exam will not elevate the state's current standing, many are optimistic about the MCAS 2.0 and believe raising the standards will benefit students in the long run. Live at the State House, I'm Jeanette Orihel, SU News.